So if you try to see here in our page, we are having this post details and these all things, right? Whenever I am clicking on the show post details, I am going to the new page. And again, if I want to see all the post details, means I am I am trying to come back to the here again. If I click here, I am going to the new page and I am trying to get back here. So this is how it is happening. So this is somewhat going to new page and coming back. It's creating some disturbance for me, not disturbance. I need to do some extra work. So in order to overcome this one, so how why can't if I click on the show post details, why can't I show it at the right side corner only? So it will be nice, right? So I can click whatever the details I want to show. I can see it at the right side corner only. So we can do this one using the nested routing. So these are called as a nested routing. So I will try to show you. So here for doing this nested routing, what we need to do is let's close these all the things. So let's open this main.js only for this post, right? For this post or otherwise for this post. So this is the main page. So let's open this post.view. So here we are having these all post details. So I will take one row, one call hyphen md hyphen h. So I am taking this call hyphen md hyphen h. So eight parts I am dividing. So I am taking these all the post details and I am pasting into this one. Yeah. So now this is call mod eight and in this wait, wait this one is not closed. Yeah, in this call mod four. So call mod four. Call hyphen md hyphen four. In this call mod four, I will try to show the post details. So now let's try to see it. If I try to see here, so this is a post. So here I need to show whenever I am clicking on this one, it's instead of moving to the separate page, I need to show the details here only at the right side only. I need to show it. It will be better for me. So how can I show this one is? So we need to do the nested routing. So how can I do the nested routing? So that means here this is a dynamic thing. In this post details, this this part, right side part, which we are trying to show this post details, it's a dynamic thing. Depending on the ID, whichever you are clicking, we need to change those post details. So what can I do is here is let's go to the main.js. So this is our post. This is our main component. And here we are having a nested route. So right side in this post, right side is dynamic, right? So we need to take a children. And here in this one, so we need to take the same thing path. So here you can say that post ID or otherwise we can capture this entire thing. So these are all the things comes under this one. So nested. So we can remove this post. Why? Because the parent is already is having the post thing. So we can remove this one also. Post ID, post item, props true. Everything is correct. Now one thing is completed. So if I click on this one, so if I go here, post details, nothing is happening. So it is it is remaining here only. But we need to show the post details here. So how can I show is this here is so now here we need to make this one as dynamic. So here we need to make it as router view okay we need to call the router view in order to load the routing thing nested child routing so here this child routing in order to load it we need to use the router view now if i go into this one see if i click whatever the things i want it so i am able to see get the all the details see i am clicking here i am able to get those particular post details so if i don't have any post means if i have any no nothing means nothing is displaying here if you want you can show you can show some other play some other thing also for example let's say that here I can add something like so if own path nothing is there means load component some other component you can load it so something like post message or any 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 item you can have it right now let's try to create it and I will try to show you nothing will happen a post message let's go to the pages I will be creating post message dot view dot view and here i can have a template click on the post detail click on the show details link to see complete post details or something like this complete post details i'm having one template here post message dot view i'm loading it like this now if you try to see here so let's go to the post thing so why it is silent so we need to keep calm hey, what is happening comma we need to keep it right yeah so now i kept the comma and then why it's still not working let's go to the inspect element you'll see now we need to see it in the inspect element issue 
post message okay we need to import this post message we have created we haven't used it right so import post message from dot slash pages slash post message yeah now if you see the output now it will come without it see click on the show details link to see the complete post details now it is telling you the message if i click here see it is showing the post details without any problem so this is how we can load the nested routing this is called as a nested routing so what we can what we have did it here in order to load the same post in the same page so we have used the router view so for this router view we need to give the routing parameters so in this for this post thing for this post thing is nothing but this one so for this one we have given a children so post slash nothing is there means load this post message post slash some id is there means load this post item so we are trying to tell it and this all the components will be loaded in the here in the place of router view it will be loaded so this is called as a nested routing in, in return we can also have a children for this one also again i can have a children for this one and i can load the children for this one also like this also i can load it so like this you can we can go on have the nested children's so this is called as a nested routing so this is how we will be loading the nested routing so like this we will be loading this one okay this is called as a nested routing so now we are able to see so create post also instead of loading it here we can load it so for example let's say that um, here i can add post slash create post so if you are having here so i can load path so create post or something like this i can have it and load the component in remember so this one right create post create post so if you want you can add it out, uh, outside also you can use it inside also now let's say that if you go here create post let's go to the post so create post so this name we can change it so here uh, if i go to the post dot view somewhere in the call mode it will be having like here i need to add post slash create post now if you try to see the output so here the problem comes i will try to show you i am able to see the post details if i click on the create post see here i am able to see the create post also if i click again here i am able to do this one create post i am able to see those details back to post means we are able to see go to the back to post so now we can able to do in the single page only these all the options we are able to do it in the single page only so this is how we will be this is called as a nested routing this is how we will be doing this nested routing